Welcome to Colores. I'm here with singer-songwriter Justin Evan Thompson. Welcome, Justin. Thank you. Good to see you, Devin. Good to see you. How are you? Great. Quarantined. <laughs> Quarantined, exactly. Uh, last time you were on Colores, you know, you played some of your amazing music, and I, I wanted to ask you, what is music to you? It's, um, it's a rock, it's a form of security, and it's also a form of expression, and something I can always connect to in the same way, uh, regardless of how transient things might be. What made you face trauma as part of your life? Well, I don't think anyone has a choice whether or not to face trauma. I think uh, we all have to face trauma. You know, I'm um, a veteran. I've struggled with PTSD. I've struggled with substance abuse. I've gone through divorce, um, homelessness, you know, traveling around the world. Just, uh, you know, all this these different avenues of pain or suffering. Um, I don't think that you have a choice whether or not to, to, to face it. I think it's about how you do. And in a lot of ways, that's what music has been for me is, is, is the way that I've, I've faced it. I was listening to your, your song Silhouette. I've noticed it's a little, it's more reduced in its sound than your previous music. Yeah. Is that something that you're, you're heading towards as a musician? You know, the, the more I songwrite and the older I get, the simpler things get for me. And um, it's, you know, you heard the old saying, like, I couldn't write a short letter, so I wrote a long one. Like, sometimes the simpler is um, more uh, earnest and, and almost harder to achieve and kind of down to the heart, you know. And I love folk music. I've, you know sort of grown up on folk music and it's just it's simplicity is its beauty you know so silhouette was the song i wrote in a really difficult kind of trying time and uh, and i found myself in sort of a beautiful situation in a in a garden and uh the juxtaposition of, of really struggling um with being in such a beautiful it's like gorgeous day uh being in that situation Kind of spawned silhouette and it's this question of like is it dark or is it light um you know sometimes i write really playful songs and like anecdotal uh but sometimes most times i can't help but it, have it be a little bit heady and ex existential and that's kind of what silhouette was it's literally musing on is life beautiful or is it is it dark is that is that still relating to your experience as a veteran I mean, yeah, I think so. I think, I think a lot of the trauma I have is, you know, it's not accessible directly. I mean, if, if that's the way mm -hmm. to look at it, it's, it's something that, you know, uh, when I wrote a song called The Wave, um, it wasn't until after I like reflected on the lyrics that I had written that I really realized what I was trying to say. And it sort of was subconscious and, and I was able to look at my own lyrics like a Rorschach and, mm -hmm. and say, oh, this is what I'm feeling, you know? And so when lyrics just come out that way, a lot, of, a lot of my more simple lyrics just come out that way. You know, Silhouette, I wrote in a shot. It's just like, you know, I didn't go think about it and come back and rework a verse. And it was just in a shot. It was real simple and straightforward. And I think that stuff is accessing that sort of primordial, that sort of visceral part of me where, yeah, my trauma, my experiences reside. Silhouette of a butterfly Silhouette of a bee When I look at you, my love Is it shadows or light that I see? Maybe dark Dark, or is it 
Justin, when you're talking about these um, musical expressions, are, the, are these healing for you? I think my musical expression has been just that it's been an expression of me coming through these experiences. Um, and I, what I think that means is it's evidence of having come through these experiences, hmm. you know, because uh, you don't get that when you're in the throes of it. And, you know, I'm not like on the other, I'm not over the hill, I'm not enlightened or anything at this point. But what I've experienced is that, is that you know, it's evidence that I have moved through things mm -hmm. you know, um, and that I've grown. And I see that in the art of my songwriting. Do you think that would have happened without music? I don't think that would happen without some kind of artistic expression. And that's why I think it's so important. Um, my partner always says, well, you're, you're an artist and that makes you special in this way because you're an artist. And I just disagree vehemently. I think everyone's an artist. I really think that what art is, is, is you expressing and reflecting on the world around you. And that's not some people, you know, that's not the artists, the talent, like that's everybody. That's if you, if, and some people have just such uh, learned inhibitions about expressing themselves in that way. And I see it and I just want to like draw it out of people around me. Like you need to write or, or create or do something because you, you need to let out what you've seen. You need to like reflect, you need to mimic, you need to pull the veil away and, and say, this is how I see things. And so I don't, I don't buy into the artists, like there are artists. I think everybody's an artist. It's just about if you, if you can get into that and, and express yourself that way, which you know, shows you like a Rorschach test, what you're feeling inside. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Justin. Really appreciate you being on the show today. Well, thank you. It was fun. <laughs>